And now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. With all this sun and these mostly dry conditions, these pua melia or these plumeria grow very profusely around our neighborhoods. Now, using this as our backdrop for tomorrow, we have similar conditions as we do have today. Again, jellyfish are visiting us on the south facing shores, and that's where we do have some increased wave heights we're looking at. Well, I want to save that for the ending portion of when we get to a surf report, but we do have some increased wave heights for the south facing shores. Now, the biggest thing in our weather is how hot it is outside. It hasn't been as hot today as it was in the past couple days, and that's because those trade winds have returned right before. Before the weekend started, but these dew points are still up in the very uncomfortable and oppressive area, and that's going to be contributing to how hot it is or how hot it feels outside. And this is the forecast, at least through Memorial Day, all the way through middle of the week. So we're going to see the similar conditions, and on top of that, we're going to start to lose our trade winds. We're already in that decreased fashion. By tomorrow, we're going to still we're going to really feel how uh, much more hot it is because those winds are going to be shifting down towards the southeast, bringing up a little bit more warmer air. Now, in terms of rainfall, we haven't seen much rainfall at all. Topping off our charts, really Waiaha, the Kota side of Hawaii Island, with these sea breezes coming in and warming up the area during the afternoon. Right under that three inch mark, Papaiko, along with Mauna Hui Hui, or what we also know as Mountain View, have seen little over an inch of rain. Other than that, especially the leeward sides, not much rain at all. Now, our atmosphere is quite stable we still do have that stationary cold front above our state and that's going to be lingering for the next few days which is going to contribute to the winds shifting towards the southeast now once we reach around Wednesday or so this is going to start to weaken and lift farther up at the same time this high pressure system will be making its way closer to the state so we can expect our winds to ramp back up to about a 15 20 mile per hour in middle of this week into the weekend and with the rainfall we're going to see similar rainfall most of those moisture in these trade winds will be caught up in the Mauka in the windward sections, not much rainfall for the leeward sides, other than the afternoon um, times when we have those sea breezes coming in and warming up the area. Checking out our Heinalu, our surf, we do have those box jellyfish again down to the south shores, four to seven, two to four up north, two to five for the west sides. And with these trade winds going to be coming light, we're going to see sh uh, smaller wave heights on the east facing shores. For the next few days, first and foremost, happy Memorial Day to all you veterans out there for tomorrow. It's going to be a warm day for the next couple days. Once we get to next week, and hopefully those trade winds come back in a breezy fashion. Kathy, back to you.